Yo! What is up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna show you some more kitchen gadgets you never knew about. Let's get started, shall we? We're gonna go straight into the banger. First up, we have the 60 second salad maker. So, instead of making salad the normal way, you grab some lettuce or whatever, you drop it up or whatever, blah, blah, blah. There is a simpler and more efficient way to create your salad. So, all you vegetable lovers, this might be for you. Not sponsored, by the way. Grab your wooden chopping board and then just grab your salad ingredients here. There you go. You open the package, it comes in this thing. Actually, we don't even need the chopping board, but we're gonna use a chopping board because it looks cool. Really quickly, grab whatever vegetable you want. Winter green lettuce. Uh, we got some of this uh, cilantro, I guess. And then grab your potatoes. I'm like, oh, I kinda want some celery. So grab your celery in here. Kinda want a little bit of celery in my salad. Grab your um, pretty pickles, which is the cucumbers. Actually, I think it's better to put it in here. Make sure it fits all in this bowl right here. And then put some lettuce in here. Now, from here, Flip it over if it fits chop it using these holes here It has like indicated holes where you can just chop it really easily that way you don't hurt your fingers while you do this You don't cut yourself because it's already guided spin it around a little bit so you can cut it in another angle Yeah, work that. Ooh. Oh, I love my salad Oh, and then once you want uh, to cut it just enough that should do the trick all you want to do is flip it over like this one and then Bam! Doesn't look like uh, it cut the bottom pieces. But let's just uh, flip it over like this. And wow, look at your salad! So what you really gotta do now is just toss it around. Wow, look at your lovely salad! Wow, now all you can do is grab a spoon and then just eat it. Mm. To be honest, I think it's just easier just to like grab everything together and just like cut it yourself. A little bit more dangerous, but like it gets the job done a lot faster. Let's move on to the next kitchen gadget, shall we? All right, guys, next up, since we're still in this subject of salad and vegetables, we have ourselves a five layers herb scissor. Let me explain how to use this one, okay? It's honestly a scissor with four different blades, okay? So this is perfect for cutting herbs or anything cool like that. So if you have yourself like, for example, some green onions, all right? Instead of like cutting it with the knife like this, it takes a while, right? You're like, ah. An easier way and a safer way to do it is grab the scissors. Ooh! Oh, look at that! Oh! Whoa! Okay, this is actually working pretty nicely. Look at that. And then you have so much green onion. I am just so surprised. And the thing is, it comes with this attachment. So, you know, things get stuck under here. Scrape it out. Easy as that. Wow, that actually worked really well. So let's say uh, you have a bay leaf, right? Oh my gosh. It's honestly just shredding it into five different pieces, which is freaking awesome. This one does it for you. If you're not satisfied with it, just keep cutting these small pieces. Let's try it with some oregano, okay? Are we gonna do this? We are going to do this. So you can just cut your oregano like this. And then if you're making steak, you go like this. Or you can move to Oregon and get some oregano and say no. Grab an oar and row your boat. Last but not least, my favorite. I think this is uh, as far as like mints and whatever. I like cilantro the best. Did you know some people's taste buds interpret cilantro's flavor as either minty or it tastes like bleach? Isn't that crazy? Fun fact. That is a fun fact. I learned that when I was uh, working at this Asian restaurant. They're like, oh yeah, it's, it tastes like bleach. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Pretty much like anime. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. In conclusion, these scissors work really well. Look at this damage it did with all these little mints and just absolutely amazing. So if you want to make soup, perfect. Dump it to your soup. Or you could dump it right here and you'll Salad. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next one. This is honestly a really good one. Look at that. All right, next up we have this hot dog toaster. What better way to cook hot dogs than to put it in the hot dog toaster? So I feel like this is more of a simplistic, lazy way of making hot dog, but at the same time, it's just pure genius. First of all, it cooks the bun and the hot dogs at the same time, which is just absolutely amazing. Really quickly, here's how you do it. Grab your hot dog buns, right? So insert these hot dog buns right here. Now grab your other hot dog bun and then put it right here. Here. So the good thing about this is you can make two hot dogs at the same time. Put a hot dog here. <laughs> All right, and then you just put it down. Perfect. And then just slide these down as well. Let's see how well this cooks the hot dogs. All right, guys, it's been about a good five minutes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's emitting some smoke out of here. You see it? So uh, I think I'm just gonna stop it. Let's see how well this thing cooked. Okay, so grab your hot dog bun. Oh, it's nice and crispy and toasty. Oh, look, it's burning. Oh, that's hot, that's good, that feels so good. Hold on. Ooh! And then you kind of put your hot dog here. Look at that. That is just a really good way to make your hot dogs. Ooh! 
Nice, nice. If you're craving some green onions too, just grab your scissors and then you can put some green onions in your hot dogs. Mm, that's fire, y'all. The bun is nice and crispy. The hot dog is like hot. I would recommend this there. It's like the best way and the laziest way and the most genius way to make your hot dog. So whoever invented this thing, I'll give you props because that was just absolutely amazing. Wow. Mm. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, guys, next up on our kitchen gadget list, we have here your all-in-one sushi maker. So what you want to do here is open this sushi thing. And this thing, what it does, it makes sushi really, really easy. It comes in like this thing, kind of looks like a gun. So really quickly, here's how you use it. You open this up, bam, you take this out. And then what you want to do here is grab your sushi rice, okay? Put some sushi rice in here. What you want to do is just cover this whole thing and fill it with the sushi rices. Ooh, it's like all sticky. You like that sushi? Jun Shabu Shabu Dugura Nintika Tanishine Tate ba yoshina ha Okay, so once you're done with all like, putting your sushi stuff in here, I got myself some salmon here. Put some salmon pieces just really around. Doesn't really matter where. Perfect, perfect. Nice. If you like furukake, I like furukake. So get, grab some furukake. And we gotta put some furukake everywhere. Look at that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Perfect. What you wanna do now is grab this piece, put it back in here. Perfect. What you wanna do is close it back up, lock it up, grab your seaweed. Make sure it's the sushi making kind, because if it's not sushi making kind, then it won't work. Bah! All right, grab your sushi seaweed, lay it here. All you wanna do is push this and let the sushi out. I don't think you're ready. Ooh, 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 look at that. You just wanna roll your sushi and cut the ends up. Damn. And you got yourself some sushi, boy. That's how you make the sushi nowadays. Now, from here, really easy. Cut your sushi up into little sushi rolls. Wow, wow, this is so awesome. This is like the simplest way to make some sushi. Oh, that was an ugly piece. Don't worry about that piece. There you go. Wow. And you got yourself some sushi. Isn't that mind blowing? Wow, this sushi maker is killing it right now. Oh my god, that's good. All these kitchen gadgets have been so perfect, so that's just A plus for everything. Except the first one, the salt one was I. There's one more thing I want to do real quick. So grab your rice. And then same thing, close it up. Close it up like this. Now just grab your seaweed and then check this out. Sushi. Sushi! Hey, what's up, sushi? And then just <laughs> And then just grab your knife. Hey, sushi! <laughs> Okay, I'm just showing with you guys. Let's move on to the next kitchen gadget. All right, next up we have not the Oriental Express, not the Polar Express, but the Bacon Express. <laughs> So just like the hot dog toaster, this is the laziest, most genius way to make your bacon. Bam! So if you guys look how it works, you kind of just lay out the bacon like you're hanging clothes outside. Let's see if it actually works, or let's see how well this thing works, okay? So Bacon Express over here, grab a bacon, okay? Bam! Oh, so you open it up like this, it's like a futuristic car. Choo choo! Come aboard the Bacon Express! Yeah, and then you just kind of just place your bacon like this. It just wraps around. And you know bacon, it's kind of annoying to cook in the uh, the pan itself. Because you gotta cook one side evenly, then the other side. If it's not even, then it tastes bad. Fortunately, this one uh, cooks both sides at the same time, which is just absolutely clutch. And then you close it up. Choo choo! Turn it on. And then there's different modes. You can preheat it. You can do crispy with the thin bacon or crispy with the thick bacon. In this case, we got that thin bacon. All right, next up we have the avocado slicer. So get your avocado or avocado, however you want to say your avocado, 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 adobo, adobo. Oh, listen. See, while we wait for the bacon express to work, it's making some kind of sizzling noise. It's making sizzling noises. Wow. So uh, let's check it out real quick. Let's open it. Wow, honestly, I just put this in like 30 seconds ago. It's doing stuff already. Whoa! It's still. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna let you do your thing. In the meantime, I'm gonna go do this uh, avocado thing. What you're supposed to do is cut it through the middle. Cut it open. Cool. Perfect. Open it up. It has like the annoying seed thing. So you cup it with this thing. It has blades right here. So you kind of just press it downwards and then it'll cup it. And then you got to take it out like that. And now you use the last part, which is these lines. And then you just slice it. Wow. Look at your sliced avocado. Thanks. Slice that avocado. Wow. This is so much better than Chipotle. I'm going to do another one. So let's open. Let's do the same thing. This thing is really splitting avocado really easily. Grab the middle, once again, put it right here, push it down, bam, 
There you go. Slice it. Oh, look at that. Mm. That is amazing. One more time. Slice that avocado. Nice. I would recommend this if you like chopping avocados and stuff. All right, let's check out the bacon. It's a little bit smoky. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh. Oh. Yo. Dude, I'm gagged right now. It's so dope. Look at this. Wow. All right. I'm just going to just let it do its thing. I want it super crispy. Super crispy. Let's move on to the last kitchen gadget. All right, guys. Last but not least, we got ourselves the Nutcracker robot. It likes cracking nuts. So let's get some nuts to crack. So I have here some nuts. Let's see how well this thing works. So we have ourselves a little nut here. Y'all put the little nut right here. Mm -hmm. And then let it crack the nut. Actually won't fit. So let's get some peanuts. Bad thing about it is you got to keep screwing it until it like, does this thing. All right. Here we go. Let's crack some nuts. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. This thing's beeping. This thing's beeping. That means it's done. Here we go. Let's check it out. Wow. I am so gagged. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's hot, but it's so good. Wow, I like how it like has this timer where it tells you to stop. Or maybe it means flip it. Who knows? Look at that. It's just so evenly cooked all around. Mm. Mm. Babe, can you do this? Because bacon can do this. That's good. You can eat bacon and crack nuts at the same time. Look at that. Honestly, this nutcracker is okay. Like, you really gotta put it right in the center. So, the real question is can it crack avocado nut? Haha. <laughs> can it do it? Oh, no. It gave up. It gave up. It's cute, though. But bacon is so amazing. Mm. Comment down below and what was your favorite kitchen gadget? Mine, it's a tie between this and the hot dog toaster. That was just. Mm, mm. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Stay juicy, y'all.